Hi everyone, welcome back. So after sharing some of my poppy paintings on Instagram a couple of days ago, I received requests to create a more detailed video on poppies. So today I'm going to show you how to paint these pink poppies. I'll show you how to create these wispy petals and how to move your brush to create these leaves. For the color, you can use any pinks, reds and greens that you have in your palette. So gather your art supplies and let's start painting. Here are the art supplies. The watercolors and brushes are part of a watercolor starter kit from the Golden Maple brand. I'll leave a link to the starter kit in the description below. This is a set of 25 watercolors with corresponding numbers. These are the round brushes I was talking about in the introduction. These are in sizes 0 and 3. For paper, I'm using 4.5 by 6 inch cold pressed watercolor paper from Canson. You'll also need a paper towel, some clean water, a pencil to sketch, and an eraser. Let me show you the colors I'll be using. A reddish pink, a red, and a couple of greens. You'll find these numbers over here. So as usual, I'll start by sketching. I'll draw some circles to situate these poppies. I'm also going to add some stalks and uh, buds. At the center of this poppy is a seed pod or pistil and I'm situating it right in the middle since this poppy is facing forward. Now this is going to be a side facing poppy so I'm going to arrange the petals so that the overall shape is more or less like a And this poppy is going to face somewhere between front and side. I'm drawing some lines to paint the leaves later. So I'm going to pick some light green and start painting the pistol. I'm using my size 0 brush here. You can leave the center white. Since this poppy faces forward, I'm going to draw some uniformly shaped patterns to give the poppy an overall circular shape. So I'm going to begin by painting a few lines with the reddish pink color, which is going to be the predominant color here, and then wet my brush and with a clean brush, I'm going to blend in these colors and also leave some white in between. Drop in a few dots of a darker value of this color towards the center near the pistol. Vary the value of the color on the petals. Like here, I'm using a more diluted version of the color, which means I've added more water to the color. You can also use a darker value of the color to add very fine outlines and then blend them.
on this petal you'll notice I'm using a little bit of the deep red in order to bring a variation in the overall appearance of the petal. Remember to leave areas of white. you notice that I'm painting every petal a little differently. You can paint them in layers like in this case I'm slightly wetting the petal before going over it again with a darker value of the color. You can also add to the outline of the petals. Or go over with a few fine lines. I've been using my size 3 brush for painting these poppies. If you don't have a size 3, you can use a size 4 also.
So finally we come to the leaves. This is my favorite way of painting poppy leaves. I make these tiny zigzag movements with my brush on either side of the center line and these lines get shorter as I reach the end of the leaf. So now it's time to add the stalks or the stamens that surround the seed pod and these are very fine lines so I'm using my size 0 brush and uh, I'm adding a little bit of black to the reddish pink color for these little dots. Now for the background I like to take a clean wet brush and run it around the flowers and in between the leaves and drop in a little bit of color and blend them. I like to finish my artworks with these backgrounds and some splatters. And here is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you did, please give this video a like, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. And if you want to recreate this painting, do tag me at simply.sema on Instagram and I would love to share your work on my stories. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.